If you've always wanted to support the show with your hard-earned cash, now's the time to pause, go to Patreon, and search out F and Rad. Join one of our tiers. You'll get ad-free episodes every week, one day early, plus more cool stuff. The F and Rad Snowboard Podcast is presented by Skyview Campers, Never Summer's innovative take on the tiny home. Designed and built in beautiful Colorado, check out skyviewcampers.com. Wired Snowboards builds quality snowboards by hand, 10 minutes away from my house. Visit wiredsnowboards.com and order one today. Fixed bindings are easy to adjust, long lasting, high performance bindings built to have less impact on the environment. Check out fixbindingco.com. Rip Curl Outerwear, strength, durability, and performance. Designed to search further in the snow, head to ripcurl.com and check out the anti series jacket. I can't wait to rock this thing. New Greens, 100% organic, vibrant green juice. Buy yourself some at newgreens.com and use code F and Rad at checkout for 20% off. The Boardroom Snowboard Shop, best selection, best prices. Vancouver's premier snowboard shop. The Boardroom ships to anywhere in North America. So go to boardroomshop.com or visit their stores in Vancouver and North Van. Support also comes from Mount Seymour, Grouse Mountain, Cypress Mountain, the Pro Standard GoPro Accessories, and our friends at 1910. You can use code FNRAD at checkout for 20% off at 1910.com. The Haven's a center for transformational learning located on beautiful Gabriola Island. Plan a visit at haven.ca and use code FNRAD at checkout to save 10% off their Come Alive program. Dara Reed McLean and Andrew Jeeves are two Winnipeg locals who grew up riding together at Forest Mountain before making the jump to Spring Hill to join one of the most influential groups of Canadian snowboarders ever assembled. Both Dara and Jeeves moved to Whistler and both became pro snowboarders. In this double guest episode, we discuss snowboarding and snowboarding related experiences in the lives of these two Canadian legends. You guys ever wear helmets? Fuck no. Were you guys helmet people? Never. Uh, sometimes. So you'll wear them when you're sledding? Do you wear them just to be safe? Well, or? for sure, sledding, you have to wear a helmet, but I mean... I didn't, when I went, which is weird. Yeah, I 100% wear, wear my helmet with sledding. Yeah. Yeah. Um, sledding, would you wear a helmet? Still no. no. Never. Really? Even if you went no, out I've like never in worn Whistler? A helmet. No. Crazy. Why would I? I've never worn a helmet. Yeah, definitely wear a helmet sledding. Well, no, it's... Yeah, wear, just wear a helmet, for sure. But, yeah. I mean, the way I, I don't I don't rip my sled, you know? Like, I, it's strictly transportation. I rip my sled. <laughs> I, I, it's like, I'm not jumping my sled, you know what I mean? I'm strictly going from A to B with trying to get no stocks. Okay. You know, because I don't have fucking... Time is of the essence. Money. Shit costs money. <sighs> Not gonna go like I'm not a snowmobiler, you know, like snowboarder. Yeah. So it's just like it's it's my chairlift. So what the hell was the deal? You had to come. You had a snowmobile from Braylorn to where today? To the bottom of the Hurley in the Pemberton Meadows. And you had a ride set up, but then the truck broke down. Yeah. And then you set up another ride. Thanks for doing that, by the way. Well, yeah, I fucking was got there at eleven, was waiting, and uh, something happened to his truck. So waited there till like one thirty. And then I peeled out, ripped back to Braylorn, had a sandwich, yeah. got in touch with some people, tried to get a hold of Dara. I was in an acupuncture appointment, very relaxed. I got out of my appointment and had a bunch of voice messages. I was fucking messages. like was in like, my boots. Oh my God. <laughs> my fucking snowboard boots, just like, <laughs> you know, there and back. Oh man. Yeah. And how, how much out of 10 were you like... Yeah, right. You just slept in today and you're not coming. I was like, I thought maybe you were fucking with me for a minute, but then he got no, pretty mad. At, <laughs> so up at fucking seven in the morning, packing my bags all hyped to get to fucking Whistler. Yeah. I'm surprised you're here right now. Yeah, and I was surprised too. Big mission to and from yeah. and to and it's, from. A, it's actually not that bad. It's like the drive in the vehicle that's shitty. Really? Because it's just like switchbacks going up to the snow line can't really go fast yeah 
like to drive over the Hurley, it takes about two hours, two and a half hours in the summer, and that's with a vehicle. But I mean, there's there's potholes and rocks and shit you gotta watch out for. But on a, when it's groomed for fucking snowmobiling, fly down there. Yeah, you know, it takes like forty five minutes. That's Jesus. How, yeah. So. Took Colton and I three and a half hours. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, are we recording? Yeah, we're recording. So nice. okay. when you guys were at Rocky, is that what it is? Uh, Stony, Stony Mountain. Stony Mountain. <laughs> Stony Mountain. Yep. Any? Did you ever say, you know, in ten years we're gonna be riding snowmobiles in Whistler? We always. I feel like ever since we met, we planned to move to Whistler. Oh, cool. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah? yeah. You guys were down. You were you you were like, I'm moving to Whistler. Sorry, I totally blanked out there. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> Stony Mountain. Stony Mountain. Stony Mountain days yeah. is like flash forward to now you're sitting here in Whistler. Was oh. this expected? Like, or was this like, fuck it. No, you know, we're gonna... It's crazy because I was just talking to Dare about this and I was like, how long have we been friends for? And it's, we're going on 20 years now. Damn. So... Where, like, if I, if you would have asked me that back then, if we'd still be friends and if Dara would be fucking pro traveling the world with her bags packed up, ready to go to Timbuktu tomorrow. Yeah, I would say no, I wouldn't. Yeah, know, but it's, it's when people, we were. Not because you don't have the skills, it's just <laughs> life's crazy. Yeah, but when we were teenagers, like, it was always the plan to move to Whistler, like, after high school. Yeah. But I don't think we ever would have imagined being this age now and like still, I'm um, still chasing snowboarding and uh, we're still hanging out. And <laughs> That's yeah. rad. Yeah. For sure. So the crew back then was, okay, so you two were a crew outside of like, it was kind of like it was, Stony Creek. You were, it was like it was Stony Mountain guys. crew and then Stony Spring Mountain. Hill, Spring Hill crew. Yeah. Yeah. And Spring Hill crew, I think was like Jake, Sanyak, Derek. Jody. Jody, uh, Griff? No, Griff, no, was, Griff, Griff was, was, was uh, Team Stony. Team Stony. So it was just like me, Griffin, and you pretty much. But then when Griffin moved away to Lake Louise or wherever he went, we started going to Spring Hill because Spring Hill was known for better, better riding, better park. Remember how bad Stony was? Yeah, but I feel like at first there was like a Spring Hill Stony Mountain rivalry. There totally was. And then we migrated, no. and everyone kind of migrated to it's, Spring. Hill. It's called Stony Mountain. It sounds like it's a mountain, but you guys have described it as a a what? gravel pit. It's a converted gravel pit. Yeah. <laughs> and Spring Hill is a floodway ditch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I think both of them, you drive to the parking lot and you go down. You go down. <laughs> so you're riding down <laughs> you take into the, rope the earth. Back up. Yeah. You're, go, yeah. you're not going down a mountain. There's no mountain that you went up. No. You're no. just at flat level and then you yeah. go down into a crack in the earth and then back out to your car at the end. Yeah, yeah you come flying up that fucking hill, Mach 10 on that thing. It'll rip your arms off if you're not careful. So it's only rope toe. It's, you're, you don't have a... One rope toe and then one uh, like T-bar type of thing. T-bar. Yeah. T-Bar is um, probably Spring Hill worst. had one chairlift. Oh, did it have a chairlift? Shortest chairlift in the world. Yeah, record-breaking yeah. shortest. <laughs> yeah. But we never rode the chairlift because that was like for the... You could like <laughs> you could probably hike up twice by the time one person is going up the fucking chair. So like actually like when we moved to Whistler, or for me anyways, when I moved to Whistler, like getting on the chair was like kind of scary. And <laughs> on just that getting chair? on the chair. Getting on the chairlift here, like getting on the chairlift and getting off of it was like scary my first year in Whistler. And you were like yeah. a rope toe aficionado. Yeah. Most yeah. people can't even go up the T bar on the horse. T bar I think is the hardest one. I think like yeah. the one that goes through your legs. Yeah. And it's scary because if you get butt, caught or, Yeah. Like when you're a kid, yeah. If you get if you get caught like with your jacket, which happened to me, you get sucked up into the fucking <laughs> wheel thing. You're dangling there, like that's terrifying. terrifying. I remember that happened to me at yeah. Stony Mountain, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Wait. So w when you guys were kids, it was just open for you to go. Like there was already snowboarding there. Like you didn't yeah. have to wait until they accepted snowboarding. Oh, no, no, we're not no, that no, old. Not, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm super old. Yeah. No. Yeah. We used no, to go. But it's, yeah. it's like I remember the first box they got. It was like the the shit that they they were really behind. You know, like everything in Winnipeg. I've always said has been like behind like five years. Five. Like style wise, what's in the now, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. 
at least. So, I don't know, but, like, pretty good for back then. Because, I mean, like, back then, there was only, like, boxes and shit. There wasn't, like, a lot of... There'd be, like, stupid rails and shit. I can't even rem- remember. Yeah, did you ever do, like, <laughs> like ride-on rails? Like, remember, or like, yeah. pardon? Did you guys ever do street missions around Winnipeg or anything like that? I did. Yeah. Yeah, I As did a that kid. a lot. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I did that uh, kind of... Fuck, man, like... A long time, yeah. Like slingshots into shit? Brotos, yeah. Brotos, no, like bungee or? That was way, way, it was pre- way before. Bungee, yeah. 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 And you didn't pre- do any of that stuff. I wasn't really there yet. I. She didn't. was like hitting the slopes. Yeah. Get, getting her. <laughs> I was training. Training, yeah. Getting ready. I did go on a Winnipeg street trip eventually, like years after moving After you there. moved here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what was that like? It was awesome. I hit all of Andrew's old spots. <laughs> <laughs> Where, um, when was that? That uh, for too hard. So I don't know how many years ago that was, but hit that like curved creeper kink oh, rail yeah, yeah, yeah. and the gold eyes kink rail. Mm-hmm. Is mm-hmm. there any footage of Stony Mountain? Like, did you guys make like a Stony Mountain crew edit? We didn't really have iPhones back then. No iPhones. <laughs> no, we had like the uh, camcorder or something. We did, we did, but fuck, I don't think we made any edits. No, Mm-mm. no, I think uh, the only people that were kind of doing that was like Jake. Yeah, yeah. Jake was, and and Buckles actually. You mentioned uh, yeah. Jake's cousin Buckles. It would it would be me, Griffin. And buckles, and we'd go out and hit, uh, you know, street shit. Like yeah, Jordan still films himself skating right now. Yeah, he's still getting clips. Yeah, flat ground, I bet. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, you know him too. Like you guys mm-hmm. both know him. Yeah. But Griffin was kind of the guy who was leading the charge on like progression or something. Like what made Kevin? Well, he was like the first. Steezy man. He just yeah. like you. Sorry, Derek, go ahead. Yeah. Well, he was the first person from Winnipeg to leave Winnipeg and, like, show us all that you could leave Winnipeg and, like, get sponsors and, like, hit big jumps and get really good at snowboarding yeah. and, and have some traction in that way. And for me, like, growing up, I seen him always at the this shop called Borders Anonymous, and uh, he was sponsored by there, and that's how we actually met. I, I seen him in there. He was always hanging out. I'm like, do you work here? He's like, no, I'm sponsored by here. And I, I'd always be in there, and I was like, you want to hang? I think I just, like, exchanged numbers. I'm like, you want to go skate sometime or something like that? And uh, and so he was he was always kind of like the, the pack leader in the sense that he, he knew he knew what the fuck the legal tricks not to do and what was cool and what, what wasn't, you sure. know, when it came to skating. So that obviously transfer, transferred to his snowboarding. And he was just like, uh an older uh, he, he had a he, strong value system in like what was cool yeah <laughs> what was not cool yeah and, and he taught everyone <laughs> who would listen what, yeah about his value would he system. shout at you is that the kind no, of no he would was, just he would poke fun at you yeah. Yeah. and be like i remember i had a board yeah. with stickers like my first board probably one of your hand-me-downs and it had like it was would have been a forum board, but I had like a whatever, like a genius sticker on it. Sure. And he's like, you can't do that. You can't have a genius sticker on a forum board. Yeah, you can't brand like, clash. I don't know. <laughs> like, nice. I like this sticker. I want to have as many stickers as possible. I'm 15. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was a big no-no to go brand clashing. I learned that yeah. at a super young age, which is good. You can't fucking wear like a, you know, circus shirt with DC fucking shoes. Yeah. You look like an you idiot. Gotta, you gotta be loyal. <laughs> can't do it. You can't do a kick flip and a heel flip in a, in the run, the same run. It's just like what? It's like two simple tricks. Like I just remember like little things like that. Mm-hmm. You know. Just but like it a, makes all the difference at the once does, you get, once like, you get out here and once you because nobody's telling you that or teaching you that out here. Out here, it's just like you you can get written off for being that kooky backflip guy or whatever it is, yeah, right? There's like, a, lot, a lot of those yeah. these days, for sure. <laughs> Fucking hell. I just, the, like, last week we were at a jump and I was like, Andrew, I'm just going to backflip this. And he was like, don't be that guy. <laughs> I was like, 
I haven't really done it's that like, many backflips so this year. <laughs> there's so many shitty backflips out there too. Like I you, think I have a nice backflip. No, you do fun. have a nice backflip. I like your backflip. That's actually a good backflip. It's like a barrel roll, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's sick. And like there's the wildcats. Those are dope. You know, I don't know about this fucking weird half wildcat side flip shit grabbing like a tuck knee. You know, like no man, like it's yeah. Don't even. Anyways, was, I guess we inherited a strong value system. Probably yeah. Probably started with Kevin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I lucked out here a little bit. Not that I had a career. I didn't have a career, so it doesn't really matter. But I like hearing just Devin, Seymour kids, Wildcats talking about like what you can't do. Backflips yeah. was like off the. Like, like even the wild wildcat, cats wild came, cats are dope, that but that was, was like later. a joke. It was a joke. It was a fucking. <laughs> it was joke. like let's all run a train on this jump and, and do, do backflips. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't yeah. like oh, we're gonna go out and do a sick fucking backflip. Never, no. It's, like there's always kind of being a skier kind of thing, you know, like totally. a big laid out backy. Like that shit is so whack. Like, and <laughs> that, then like, yeah. and then like, you're not just gonna lay it out. You're gonna fucking grab Tindy or some weird <laughs> shit and like fucking stretch that bitch out no yeah 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 <laughs> like get out of here with that I, I i called up nicholas mueller even though he's canceled on his just on his landline and was like hey are you watching natural selection like last year he's like yeah i am and and he had been invited to go but he was like ah fuck i haven't been snowboarding enough I, i'm not feeling it but i was like it's kind of whack that these this curated group of people that are so fucking good are now sort of competing in a like backflip 360 contest, right? Like you got to put a 360 in there. Well, definitely, that's, just, and then that's you a contest, a of course. Yeah. You know, it's points, right? It's points. And the style goes out the window in a contest. Yeah. It's just the name of the game. So, yeah, like <laughs> there's that. You want to win, go do a fucking Double. crazy run full of whirly birds and yeah. <laughs> whack shit you know i don't know <laughs> would you ever do natural selection if they invited you no it's not your steez i'm just i'm not trying to make a go out of it anymore mm. Mm. you know that's that time is long long gone i'm just enjoying life uh i'm actually just rekindling my my love for the backcountry so i'm sure as fuck wouldn't want to go in that shit that's for sure <laughs> and Derek, you've been in it what is it like to be out there on top of one of those runs yeah it's stressful it's a very different environment than fi a filming environment which i think is more my domain <laughs> and, and yeah. I, am, am yeah. i right in assuming in a filming domain you've got a group of friends and they're kind of everybody's cheering you on yeah typically filming you're with people that you know really well and they know you're snowboarding really well and they are helping everyone's helping each other and you also can control the situation a lot more. Choose one feature that you really want to hit. It's just very, it's very a lot more controlled than yeah. a contest setting where it's like you have to go now and you have to hit these things even if you don't want to and like, just must have been terrifying. Yeah, I can't even. Imagine. I give you mad props for even doing that. Yeah, though, because yeah, big big props yeah. on that. You know, <laughs> that takes a lot of courage. I think. Like, that's one thing for me is I could not deal with that amount of pressure these days. I didn't do well with it. <laughs> I was never, I was never you good did at... Great. With the pre I don't do well with the pressure. It's yeah. Like, I was never good at contests, so... Yeah. Didn't you win a bunch of young blood shit and all that when you were when young? When I was like 13 and yeah. the level of riding was like <laughs> not as, you know, a couple of sevens and you're home free. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. It's a way different game now. Yeah. So when I met Andrew, I feel like Kevin was like kind of already gone by the time I started snowboarding. And then mm. when I, I started a little later and when I met Andrew, he was like the forum young blood kid. And like, I remember people talking about him being like this, he's on forum. Like he went and did the young blood contest. And I remember Sick. you had that pink bandana and the brown special blend jacket. Oh, it was a dirty kid. <laughs> <laughs> I was a dirty but, kid, man. That was yeah. Those were the best times. I remember getting like fat packages from Four Star, which is like <laughs> form and blend. I was, you know, as a dream as a kid. Mm -hmm. and How they old? would always hook it up because I was homies <clears throat> with uh, Mark Morissette and uh, Dom. How? Um, dude, I think I was just like, uh, fuck, 
those contests yeah you know and then like so this is actually all comes back to it because uh back in the day there was like the cashless crew not the cashless crew but there was like um mike osachuk mikey scott dennis bannock adam drover dan pitts who is they they would do this tour uh, they, or they did like they came to Winnipeg for something I don't know around there and that's how I met them so I I met Bannock and and uh, and Cashin and all on all these guys like when I was quite young so I was always competing and going out west so I'd see them around or whatever and I, I don't know like and then I won those contests and then I met Dom, and yeah, like I don't know, because I skated for Circa too. Oh wow! So like, was, through the shop or whatever? No, it's through Four Star. Yeah. Distribution. So and they then, just saw you and they were like, "Okay, this kid's hooked." Yeah, up. Dom was like, you, "Like you have to pick something." You yeah. Know, like, do you want to be a skater, or a snowboarder? Really? Yeah. And and that's pick snowboarding. Pick snowboarding. Yeah. How did Circa come about initially? Is that I, uh, I was sponsored for snowboarding through Four Star and. And oh, then okay. they circa. Okay. Damn. Gotcha. Right. And then yeah. So you win the young bloods. You win basically the young blood thing was like a trick to get the best kids to get a forum sponsorship. I mean, not a trick, yeah. but it was like a good gimmick to be like, all right, so let's get all the kids the to next, battle. Like, yeah. You know, the young blood series yeah. is to find the the next up and comers. And it worked though. Yeah, like, absolutely. People for sure. Really fucking loved that shit. For sure, man. Uh, fuck it. And then they had four young against, blood that's boards how Lucas, and everything. That's yeah. how Lucas Magoon got noticed. Yep. Lucas Magoon, me and him shared a fucking room back in the day. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, he was wearing tight pants, too. He, he was like all hesh. Sick. <laughs> Crazy. Sick. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, I think I think Jody's won a young blood. I think he won a board or something. That was a big deal for him. I gave a board to Jake when I won. You oh, gave you a board to me. To yeah, board to you. It might have been, was it a young blood board or a street dweller board? Oh, those street dwellers with no edges. But that yeah. was like my Sick. second, like that was like my first actual snowboard after like the Walmart board or whatever. And that was the board that I moved to Whistler with. You moved to Whistler with a street dweller. I think it was, a, or maybe it was a young blood. It, surely it must have had edges if I was riding the mountain. If you're riding Whistler, it would have probably had to have edges, I think. But why, I do why remember. Why would I give you a street dweller, though? I don't know. I thought, it, whatever. You gave me a snowboard, and I remember I had it set up, like, regular, because you're regular, and I just put my bindings on, like, the markings that you're... Oh, yeah. And then, like, halfway <laughs> through my first season in Whistler, someone was like, are you riding your board backwards? And I was like, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> man, that is so awesome. It's amazing. <laughs> I uh, had no idea. When you move out here, he's already here. Are, do you guys reconnect and you're good friends? Or Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah for sure. Like yeah. start hanging out again right like away. Like we planned on moving out here together, but then Andrew moved out early. I finished high school. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, yeah, right. I was, I was getting into some bad things back in winnipeg so i had to i just pulled the plug trouble just, yeah yeah trouble and bail bounced and just yeah found another spot yeah i got well i got kicked out of high school and then uh was it for something good or was it just like I attendance saw, I or something? Something lead. yeah no i got arrested it was pretty sick yeah like it was my big last debut at school it was like me wearing a tech nine jersey with shades <laughs> And the cops fucking arresting me with the lights on, like two cops outside, like the busiest part of the high school. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, and that was it. That's the last time they ever fucking seen me. Nobody sees you <laughs> I was again. Out. He, and then somebody's like, he's a fucking pro snowboarder in Maybe, Whistler yeah. now. I don't know. Yeah, people would have seen that and been like, what the fuck? But I always thought that was funny. Yeah. Because like, I definitely remember uh, a couple of teachers that did not support like the idea of trying to make because it's always been on my mind you know like it from a young age yeah you you said grade two but were you yeah i have yeah like grade two grade one i don't even know but like i have this journal where like some obvious little fucking rug rat has written like can't even spell skateboard right you know i want to be a pro skateboarder with a little drawing and a pro snowboarder amazing yeah And and i actually have a drawing 
on my phone, I took a photo of it. It's super fucking cool because uh, it's like a guy doing it. This is like before I even really rid in powder or anything. But there is like, must have been a photo I really liked of this guy doing a slash on a cliff. And I drew it out and it, I wrote, uh, snowboarding in the mountains brings me peace. Cool. Or something like that. As a I, kid. I, I, you... As a kid, yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. So, yeah, it's, it is. I found that quite funny, to be honest, just because I was... I don't even think I had ever ridden powder at that time. Right. You know, like, there was never a pow day at at Spring Mountain. Well, fuck. I no, but know. we I, used to go on trips to Banff. <laughs> we kind of rode powder. On the yeah, yeah. yeah we used to. <laughs> I remember before I moved out west, powder was the stuff that was scraped at the side of the run. Like, yeah, let's yeah. go do a powder run. Yeah, you just hit the side. You yeah. hit the side and swoosh through the. For sure, that's yeah. still fun to do. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's like, soft. you're just trying to get down. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. It's fun. Um, yeah, we used to do this. Uh, our Banff trips. Our Banff really trips. Really so, like, really Kevin <laughs> Griffin. <laughs> you fuck, I don't even know how he comes up with this shit. But anyways, he found this fucking Anglican church that takes this. a bus of people out to... Uh, to Banff. Mostly people who go to the church. Go but to church. somehow a bunch of fucking snowboard and kids. For a good price, right? <laughs> yeah. For a good price. And then you go out there and you stay in the in the basement of this yeah. church, which is a gym gymnastics place. So you could sleep on all. It was super cool. On the mats. You bring, you bring, a, you bring a sleeping bag. Bring yeah. a sleeping bag, yeah. So, but, so, like, to... Like the front half of this Greyhound bus is all like middle aged church people, <laughs> and the back half is just us, like fucking 16, 17 year olds. Like, just... I, that's I was not 16, 17. Oh, well, whatever. I How was old? like fucking 13, four, like 14. I, think, I would have been 12, 15, 13. I think. Yeah. It must have be... been 15, 16 Mm-mm. when I went. No. Yeah, because I started snowboarding when I was 15. Nope. Yes. <laughs> no. Yes. Yes. Whatever. But you're younger than me. Oh okay. yeah. Were Anyways. you bringing like <laughs> bottles of Boons on so, there, or some like, <laughs> like, like? However, vodka we managed to something? get alcohol. Like we managed yeah. to get a lot of alcohol, a and lot. we would go <laughs> snowboarding all day at Lake Louise, and yeah. then we would go into the streets of Banff and get so drunk yeah, yeah. under the bridge in Banff, so like fun, just man. chugging vodka. That was Andrew, and that was our signature move. Yeah, yeah. And then we'd go back to this church, just so fucking Hammer, dude. so drunk. <laughs> like <laughs> these poor, these with poor no old chaperones. People. Like so, these they are well, not in charge of you. They're, they was are, but technically this is, chaperones, but they had no idea how to no deal control, with us. No control, man. This is right. fucked because, right. like, and then like as the years went on, because we did this for I think maybe three. I did it for like three or four years. Okay, so that's it. So I came later. You came later. I did the last couple. So years. like the first few years, it was just you know weed and shit like that. But as we got older, but I was still young when. Walter Walter stole that. My, yeah. Our buddy. So as the years went on, we we acquired more and more pieces of shit to go on this fucking <laughs> church grill. To fucking. We took over. <laughs> and they never. And that was stopped it. You they from stopped doing it. Over. Remember, oh, remember oh, that? No. So check this out. Oh my uh, god. Oh my god. That dude, right? Yeah. He gets so was was it Walter? Okay. So no, Walter stole. Shout out Walter Weedman. <laughs> we WAC were such crew. delinquents when we were teenagers, but he managed to steal like a 40 of liquor from the liquor store. Uh, maybe we can't say that, but this is oh, yeah, this years is, ago. Fuck whatever. Anyways, yeah. he stole it. He brought it onto the bus. We're on our way back to Winnipeg. This is like a 15 he hour. He straight up Caspered that. So all y'all that know uh, <laughs> the movie Kids, he tucked his sweatpants <laughs> into his socks and just fucking dropped, dropped it. it. Yeah. 40 <laughs> ounce of vodka. As a teenager, as a yeah, kid. Yeah, like yeah. He was, and he's just walking out. He was a punk. Bit, he was. Yeah. He's a good friend of mine. Sick, yeah. sick, uh, sick. Uh, him and I never got along. <laughs> no, he kicked you in the head. Oh, yeah. So, same trip. <laughs> same trip. So, we're all in the back of the bus. No way. <laughs> Gee, you took a kick to the head. Well, right, right in the fucking head. We're all in the back of this Greyhound and drinking out of this 40 that he had stolen. And, like, I think he was sitting behind me and I was sitting next to Jeeves. And I turned around to face Walter and he just kicked me. <laughs> and then I need I need Andrew here to tell the rest of the story because there was this one kid, I can't remember his name, but he ended up getting so drunk that he was like throwing up, like really sick. And we locked him in the bathroom of the Greyhound because we didn't know what to do. And we didn't <laughs> want to tell the... <laughs> 
the, the adults oh, yeah, yeah. that he had gotten so drunk that he was puking. So we locked him in the fucking Greyhound bathroom and we wouldn't let him out. And I was he like, let me out at first, you guys. And then he passed yeah. out. And now that I think about it and I actually am really ashamed, oh, God. <laughs> but we were teenagers and we were shitheads. Um, I feel bad. You were taking, about that now you that were I taking care of a it. problem though. Yeah, we were. And eventually <laughs> Finally, so she says somebody got, somebody got so hammered they were blacking out and puking, so they just got locked in the in. The oh yeah, bathroom. yeah. We we started we locked them in there and then we couldn't get in there, so everyone starts taking pisses and bottles and then we didn't know what to do with them, so we just start fucking throwing the piss bottles in there. In well, there, in there. This guy's passed out. It was just oh, it was no. stro- it was so nasty. I felt so bad for the people that. For the people that put that on, man, it was oh it was terrible. And, and that, that was that, what ended it. That's that what one. ended it. <laughs> that, it's that, so, was, that was it. That was so the icing not, on the cake. Not funny. You know what's crazy? Is that is that camera like just pointed at? I think it's just on Dara the whole time. Is it? The two of you. Okay. <laughs> is that wide lens? Yeah. Cool. What kind of camera is that? It's a G50, just a Canon <laughs> cool. camcorder, kind of the last camcorder that they made. They don't make these things anymore. It's cool. It's nice and compact and small. Yeah. Does, yeah, it's 4K. So does the trick, eh? It sucks for like follow cams or steady cam or anything. For this shit, it's This right. shit, it's fun. It falls nice. faces. Sweet. I feel really bad about our behavior on those trips now that we've just... You were uh, children, We lived those memories. You were kids. <laughs> we that were kids. Were just... We were idiots. We, yeah. we were up to no good in high school. We were shit Heavily, yeah, for and sure. And you made it through high school. I graduated. There was roll. pretty badass. Though. Yeah. She, yeah. She yeah. was. She was... Yeah. I had a good balance of being a delinquent, but also caring about school a little bit. <laughs> I did not care about school. Yeah. Did you get your GED or anything like that? You didn't bother. No, I think it's I only got, it. I got like half my grade 10. Yeah. But you were a, you were a child star in school. Well, Snowboard. not even really. Like, I mean, child, like, was a small a big fish small pond type of scenario i guess in winnipeg right yeah but you were a big fish immediately upon moving to whistler as yeah well. yeah like immediately like so big of a fish that i feel like we didn't even really hang out that much the first year i moved uh, there here. you he was, go he was too cool yeah the, yeah did that i was wondering if that might have happened like <laughs> well well comes, well let me just comes. add on this real quick <laughs> here <laughs> whoa oh. okay <laughs> I don't know if I should go down this rabbit hole. I don't know if I want you to. I don't know what I'm you're I'm just going to not. <laughs> it's a skip. Anyways. I was going to say, I, I was going to say, year. Is, is she still like Winnipeg and kind of naive? Winnipeg's and, finest right here. Yeah. yeah. But but like naive and you're now you're hanging with people in Whistler that are a lot older than you and you're like. To be honest, like um, these days, I'm, I'm still kicking it with the, the same, same people. Same people. You know, like if yeah. anything I've. Not lost a lot of friends, but you know, I'll see you when I see you. Mm -hmm. Less is more these days, I Mm -hmm. find that you know, Mm -hmm. that's just growing old, growing older. Yeah, but for sure, like our first year, my first year in Whistler, I feel like you were kind of finding your groove, filming video parts, had a larger than life persona. It's so funny because now. The roles are reversed. Yeah. Now, now I'm she's the cool guy. Uh, now she's too busy to hang out because she has all this shit. <laughs> you know. Just took right. me twenty years. <laughs> well, it took so, the whole industry twenty years to get to where women were invited to go on fucking a little bit. Films, oh, films well, yeah, pretty, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like yeah. as a kid, you're not like there was fucking hey, I'm no bring my there was friend no Dara. girls growing up right. really. Right. I don't think tokens. There was like a token girl in each like big. Production. Yeah, like, a, and then the smaller MF, ones sometimes none. Right, like the sandbox like, guys. Did they have girls in their videos? No, oh, no, they didn't. No. Right, and it's like, now that yeah. I think about it, there is like no girls in. Like it was just an all it was full moon back then, right? That was like pretty much the first all girls video. I think no, absolutely not. Oh, no, runway. Oh, <laughs> oh, sorry, that's what I meant. Runway. Yes, yeah, okay, I'm getting okay. it mixed up. But yeah. that's the precursor. But yeah, to that, that that is right? the same. The same yeah. shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, by the time I moved to Whistler, like those girls were very established and had their careers, and there wasn't really a place for like an amateur. Right. Do you remember the jacket that I got you as a gift, and you lost it? No. I, Leanne, Leanne's jacket. Yeah. Did you get me that as a gift? Okay. Well, anyways. I bought it from Skate Skates. No. Really? No, 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 no. I bought you a jacket from Skate Skates. 
I think you that got drunk I, and lost it. I no, was so bummed. I think that I bought a jacket off of Leanne at a Camp of Champions sale, and I got really drunk and lost it. Well, you probably lost a couple jackets. Then. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Well, either way, I hey, do. Lynn. Hi, Lane. Hey, guys. <laughs> you you want to say anything about me and Andrew? <laughs> I love you guys. It's awesome. Thanks, Lane. Yeah, you're going to mention my small toque, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't say I know, I know. I'm just joking. Oh, I love it. Is it too small? <laughs> my toque? The best. It's a bit small, eh? No. Okay. It's all right with the haircut. Could be smaller. Could be smaller. Could you roll it up one more? Can I get the double? Relic. The real fucking Quebecois. That's good. There you go. Now you look. Oh, yeah. oh wow. <laughs> working yeah. class. Yeah. <laughs> East That's Coast so working class. One more roll. <laughs> um, so, Derek, it seems like you weren't bummed that he wouldn't talk to you. You were stoked. He's like, not that he wouldn't I talk to you. Just stoked. that he was. I would say I was bummed, but I was oh, also kind of okay. like, do, figure, I was living out of my parents' house for the first time. I was living, I was doing yeah. my own thing, like yeah. finding my way, and there's, there's figuring a, it out. Yeah. And we had, you know, it was there, probably the healthiest thing for both of us at the time <laughs> to like yeah. have some space. Yeah. Yeah. Just as friends. You guys were never a couple. We were once yet. lovers. Oh, my Whoa. God. Whoa. No. I know that's what everyone wanted to hear. <laughs> I can't. And yes, <laughs> she, was, she did take me to prom. <laughs> You were a little no, kid. No, no this we were, Okay, so this we're, is happening. This is real. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. He was I, my grad date. Yeah, yeah. Non romantic or like <laughs> undecided at the time, and then you're like, "Well, just go with it and see what happens." I think that I had a major crush on Dara growing up, and yeah, then, that makes sense. So this is what I was going to get into with that thing with being too cool for you or whatever. This was my payback. Yeah. At mm. the same time, I'm like, yeah. "Wow, wow, wow! Look, look who comes." <laughs> I deserved it. Yeah. I but no, we were, yeah. That's sweet. We're we're better <laughs> off as just friends. Yeah, you guys were children. <laughs> yeah. And you had a you had a high had, school romance. Yeah, we had a passion for the same thing. You mm-hmm. know, we had lots mm-hmm. of great memories, and you know, that's a good lesson to learn, actually. Yeah, you know what I mean, it was great having. Uh, it was great having Dara growing up we for sure. She had a vehicle. So We'd get much up and, fun in high school. Yeah, for like sure. we did a lot of funny things. We did. <laughs> Yeah. And then there was a year that he's getting back at you. Yeah. And then you guys reconnect and, and start snowboarding again? I mean, I think that after that year, I don't know. We were both doing our things. He was doing his thing. Eventually, I started filming too. And then there was like a couple injuries. But like we've always been close. And then I feel like we maybe got became closer friends when... Well, you helped get me on dinos. Sick. I was the man. Yeah. I was, before all that, I was rooting for you. Yeah. I, you know? And then uh, Sean and Jeff, I think, both asked me, what do you think? And I was like, no brainer, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, well deserved. Yeah, because you did nitro for a, a couple of years. Mm-hmm. You, oh, I totally forgot about that. Yeah. A long time ago. Yeah. And then that didn't end great. No. What happened? I didn't know that. Mm. You don't want to talk about it? You don't didn't, have to. I didn't like the way it ended, but... Ben, ben Bullock, it, was that the same time Ben Bullock was on the team? In Around the, the same time, yeah. Ben was I, on Nitro? Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah. all his like sick shit with video grass is Nitro. Really? Oh my God, yeah. What a bunch of idiots. I know, they're, they were... I mean... Slept on him hard. They slept on him. That's it. But whatever, everyone finds their place, you know? Yeah. Like, he's still snowboarding, and Ben's a fucking... Awesome guy. Unbelievably awesome guy. Shout yeah. out Ben. Yeah. Ben B. Ben. And he was a part of a crew kind of like you guys were a part of a crew where there were gatekeepers. Yeah. Deja and, vu. Like those. Yeah. Uh, bandwagon. That video bandwagon, I think, uh, like changed the game for jibbing, I think. Yeah. And that was like, it fucking shook people, I think. Yeah. Because there was a, these guys just did it on their own out, mm-hmm. in, out east. Mm-hmm. You know, but there was videos before that even influenced them, like probably Frosted Flakes uh fuck um what other ones uh frosted flakes was one that's burned in my mind like jeremy cloutier when he's like 12 years old killing it max legendre or legend um sorry for butchering that uh who else i don't know that's this is yandolphin 
you know, like uh, those those guys kind of paved the way, I think, for for Canadian urban. Right. <laughs> yeah. But one of the things about the Deja Vu crew is that they were honest with each other. They could say that maybe wasn't the best. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think that's... Without, without somebody, like, having a fucking suck attack about it. I think that's, like, the sign of a good friendship. Is right. You can say it that. sounds yeah. like you guys kind of had that, And that's, that too, like, before... Right? Co- sure. That comes back to, like, before coaching, right? Yes. It was like, yes. you just go out with your buddies and be like, dude, that was, you know, grab here or fucking... Mm-hmm. Do, you know, it was just positive. You know, you don't want your, your bro looking like a fucking dingus out there. <laughs> I think you know? I <laughs> am grateful to, like... Well... Jeeves has a really high standard in snowboarding, and so I think that I have have a really high standard with my own snowboarding because of how hard it was always to, like, impress him. Like, yeah. basically my whole life he's been telling me I suck, so... No, I would, man. <laughs> but not, like... Calling but, you know, like, him. it's... Calling you on, yeah, on, the, like, on the wax, Steve. Yeah, like... No. Like, the, like the backflip thing. Like, okay, yeah. baby, no backflip today. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Uh, that's good. Well, you're the you're the Jess of that crew, right? Jess was the that of Deja Vu. Like she wrote with those guys a bunch. Yeah. Well, I don't know. You would know more than I do. Didn't she? I think she I don't did. Know. But Maybe I, I'm wrong. But I with Ben, though, wrong. right? Yeah. yeah. Ben, yeah. 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 But and just having that, like, she was like with a crew. Derek kind of did was so did the, the hard work herself, though. Yeah. Like yeah. I, I didn't. So I wasn't. Did I wasn't there. So like Jess, yeah, yeah, I got her into it and like right. back home. But when I moved out here, we kind of like did our own thing. You know, like I kind of I had my shit going on. Like with DC, like I, I was, things were happening with me. Dara was still trying to get there. So. I started filming for Peep Show. Um, yeah, like I feel like you guys were all kind of doing your thing. So like everything was... that she's accomplished to get her actually. To where she's at now she did on her own so Absolutely. kudos to her yeah yeah it's dope and being a part of this crew meant that you had that like just you know thinking in your head like okay i'm not going to be a contest rider right like i want to film yeah. these guys are filming they're doing it i want to do the same fucking thing as that i don't yeah. want to go do contests i always wanted to film video parts never had any interest in contests right um from watching them and then also from watching the runway movies yeah but Do you kind of feel like you uh, you wish you would have done contests? Yeah. Because Sometimes of, I yeah, do. Yeah. That's, I was thinking about that the other day because even though there's still... Okay, there's not much fucking money at all in anything in snowboarding, I feel. I don't know. I'm pretty out of the loop, but... You're yeah, right. Me too. <laughs> but I'm guessing it's probably worse than it was. <laughs> yep. And uh, I don't know, like... I used to make my money off photo incentive and video incentive. So I'd max that shit out like my video incentive that was a good paycheck and then try and max out my my photo incentive sponsors would you know pay for that so that i kind of feel like i do they still do that is there is there contracts that I mean, still do I that or in, what like, i didn't have contracts in the time of like big photo and video incentives but i i think it's quite different now it, it is eh? yeah and so i mean like, I only how do you know, fucking like, what, make your money though instagram reels or what yes, yeah eh? social media obligations and it's crazy yeah, it's different, but so. But you, no, that's not how that's not how you make your money, though. Um, okay, so the next question I want to ask you is: Do you um, do you think there's more money in contest riding or doing the the video part route or con- whatever the fucking the? I think Instagram shit. probably contest riding, definitely contest riding, and also I think contest riding is just like not an easier path, but a more straightforward path. Like it's more obvious you go yeah. to the events yeah yeah but if, if you win you get money yeah yeah but there's so many fucking good riders right yeah so to stand out i True. mean you have to be the best you where be the filming best. a video part filming you can kind of get away with just fucking <laughs> i am not the best but you, if you're the hardest worker there, you can film yeah. a video part, yeah. like yeah <laughs> we can cut that landing out yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no nobody does that what are you talking about? <laughs> we can cut to the other one what the fuck yeah. you guys are talking about <laughs> um yeah i don't know people I don't have a good answer for how. Well, once you're on a team too, I've I've been saying it from a kind of just it's different now point of view. Like you used to try and get into a Mac Dog video or a or like one of the standard films, something like you wanted to move up from the local guys to the next level to the next level. That doesn't exist now. Now you just film for your sponsors, whatever their project is. So 
whatever you do is getting in the project. It's not like they're going to cut their own person from their own project. Yeah, well, I mean... So it's a different deal. I don't think they'd use footage if it wasn't. It's not good, yeah. yeah. But it you, is important in that sense to like align yourself with brands that are going to be creating projects that you want to be a part of and that, yeah. Yeah, that the that's cool. That like, symbiotic or whatever the word is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like I'm, I'm outdated with, the, with how it is now. Dude, I mean, from what it looks like, it looks like Jess Kamira sponsored and paid for every am girl for like two seasons out of her pocket wow that was the sponsorship that you wanted was to be in the uninvited with jess working on that project that's so great that she does that that she gives back and you know who else i what who did that i think is jib girl 420 or whatever she uh she did that whatever yeah. her uh, thing was yeah i don't think she gets enough credit for those movies that she made i think those were sick movies she did you know create a platform for yeah it just was like almost ahead of its time <laughs> yeah yeah i yeah. definitely think so yeah you know um but yeah just opened mm. a lot of doors for a lot of girls yeah, yes thank you <laughs> yeah yeah and it seemed like you know now now it's more like a happy thing but the uninvited in the beginning was kind of like a mad thing you know what i mean she's like Fuck you guys. We're not invited to anything. A little bit. We gotta make something. We gotta make something for the girls. <laughs> if you won't do it, I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Myself. Yeah. Do you want one? I'm good. Um, um but yeah, I mean now there's But lots now they're very of... happy, right? Like the the event last year. Oh yeah. Looked insanely good. Yeah. And super fun. Yeah. And super like it's that's the event that's giving away the money. What was it? Fifty grand she gave away. Yeah, pretty crazy. Really? Fifty thousand bucks. Who sponsored it like probably Monster, right? Yep. Monster yeah. Skull Candy or something. North like that. Face probably. North Face. Yeah. yeah. Capita. Yo, can we talk about North Face for a second? <laughs> we certainly can. Who the hell is the team manager? <laughs> uh, we could talk about something else. <laughs> Why? I don't know. We... <laughs> this is an Andrew and Dara episode. <laughs> Are either of Not... you on North Face? <laughs> oh yeah, because of six eight six. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm on. I'm not. I'm just. Six eight six is not has nothing to do with North Face. So just... I, I, I'm just saying. But actually, go off because I love your rants. So yeah, say sure. what you need to say. Oh, just know say. that. My thoughts aren't necessarily the same as his thoughts. Well, what just do as you, a disclaimer. Do you, know? do you, you don't even know what I'm going to say. Well, what are you going to say? Say it. I'm just saying. It looks like fucking half of uh, the Sea to Sky is wearing North Face these days. Well, there's a brand Where's that mine? is doing well. <laughs> Where's mine? Where's mine? Was that where you thought it was going to go? No. I, <laughs> I, thought, it was, so I thought it was going to be something way I've more I've been trying negative. to get a fucking yeah. North Face jacket from <laughs> whoever it is for so long. <laughs> I, this is not where I thought that was going to go. Me neither. <laughs> so if you're listening to this, check out my Instagram. <laughs> You've got some fire clips this year, dude. Damn straight. Yeah. Put yeah. It That's great. I do that shit for free, man. That's free advertising right there. Yeah. You know. Is it how, how heartwarming is it for you that he's back out here? He's clipping up. He's back. He's snowboarding. He's in the snow. Well, he's been snowboarding for a while, but it's like crazy to me to just see like I don't know. You have like so much natural talent. Mm. He can step away from snowboarding or from riding powder for how many years? Yeah, but it's I'm skateboarding too. Though. Yeah, I but find that it goes. They kind of go hand in hand. I guess so, but I just think. But you're, not really. Though, I don't know. You're very talented. Yep. Well, I sure Agreed. as fuck hope so. I've been doing it for 26 <laughs> years. <laughs> but yeah, it's, you know. Yeah. It's like it's like riding a bike. It's muscle memory. You know what I mean? I'm sure that you could take a, a five-year hiatus off power riding and come back and... Not come anywhere near what you are doing, but... Well, thank you. I do appreciate that, <laughs> both of you guys. But I do feel like... Uh, yeah, I, I feel good on my board, and I'm super happy to be back. And, and like, not just the powder, but, like, the street clips in Ottawa the last yeah. couple of years. Oh, been. yeah, those were... It was fun seeing that, that you're. That did you you're see still the progression with that? Because like yeah. I, I was just like going out with like uh, some some kids and then like kind of seeing what they're doing. I'm like, man, you know, like it's not even that fun to watch. You know what I mean? I'm like, I could do that. <laughs> yes. You know what I'm saying? And then like I 
and you could see it in my riding. I'm like kind of sketchy and like sure. not doing things properly. And then like the next well, year it gets a little that. bit better. The next year it gets a little bit better. Sure. And, I feel know. like I know that I know you are like putting effort into it, but it almost seems like you don't have to try. And then like you're getting photos published and That's like it. doing like That's getting it. these clips that are insane. It's a, you're, a, you know, like a model when you see, sometimes when you see like a model in real life, like someone who's beautiful and famous. Thank you. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> you're like, holy fuck, that's a weird looking person. But when they are in a picture, they look amazing. Yeah. You are so photogenic on your board. Thank your you. arms aren't wacky. Your shit is always in the right spot. Well, yeah, sure. but it's a good, it's like I'm, a good wacky. Even with a, even if they're wacky, it's... they're wacky in a great <laughs> spot. Thank you, man. Yeah. I appreciate yeah. that. We went it's, it's... snowboarding uh, in the park this year, like first time. Oh man, it's first time in <laughs> so long. Like really, <laughs> seven. I don't even know. But so, seven, seven seasons. <laughs> first Holy time fuck. on the mountain. So Jeeves, Maybe like eight? Jeeves comes here from Bray Lauren. Sleeps on the couch, wakes up at seven. I'm sober too. You gotta remember, I'm sober and I have a lot of energy right now. I come now. upstairs. Yep, yep. I'm making coffee. It's like it's not a powder day. At, like no snow. It's <laughs> park day. Five, it's three. it's like a it's like a start the day at like eleven kind of day. So I come up and making coffee, like just waking up, and Jeeves is just like geared up, like ready to go snowboarding. Me and this. Lane are like, uh, we. Like, we probably want to give it a couple hours. I know. I was, like, kind of bombing. I wanted <laughs> yeah. to go up with E-Man. E-Man was out the night before. Like, and... anyways, we get up there. <laughs> like, just first lap, there's the first jump in Black Home Park. And we're just standing at the top, me, Lane, and Jeeves. And then Jeeves just goes. I what did you do? Back three? Or did you do? I don't know. But overshoots the entire jump. Me and Lane are just standing there, like, Oh my god! And then you continued to do that for the entire run, the yeah. whole way down, and the rest of the All day, day. over straight, straight Every to flat, like everything was... over. I wasn't trying to <laughs> necessarily on the small. I was jumps. like, I was like, these jumps are small. Go slow. <laughs> just like, like you had to go super slow for them. <laughs> like shit I, is small. To me, yeah, it didn't even small. make sense. Right, right. <laughs> How it, slow you had to yeah, go? Yeah, yeah. Because you're used to riding park here, where you have to go. I'm not even full used, speed. Like that like, is seven slow. years ago. That Seven was years ago, they slow. didn't make stuff that Like, slow. why even make a jump that you have to go that slow? Right. You right. know what I mean? Right. Right. That's, like, that's going to play you more than any of the bigger jumps. In the, right, the big and jumps. And, and I that jump did play did. people. Yeah. I yeah. overshot it. Uh, I thought I blew my knee, and I was super bummed. So, sober, not sober? Or is that... Have, did you ever do a time where you were just like... There is good... I don't really. She's she's got a head on her shoulders. Yeah, I, yeah. it's know, not so. It's not. She's never been. I I drank too much and I had my days when I was younger, but now alcohol is not something I struggle with. So like, right, I can take it or leave it basically. So I know yeah. I'm fortunate with that, but I yep. have my own other struggles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah. And you do a lot of like yoga, breath work, mm -hmm. you know, mindfulness. How about you? that stuff in your repertoire now mm, no uh maybe when i get back though for sure, sure I'm, I'm definitely looking to get into uh, being healthy because i do intend to snowboard till i die and skateboard i think that so i just want to be good i want to be happy and healthy and i think that uh i'm gonna have to fucking add a bunch of shit into my routine when i get back just to keep me busy mm -hmm. but between work and um between work and skateboarding, and I got I got my little family back home too. Shout out Cat now, love you guys. Uh, you know I should be pretty busy, but um, my, squeeze uh, some yoga in, keep yeah, the spine my, supple, you know. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I will be getting a gym pass. Stay and, bendy, uh, yeah. Yeah. Breathing too. That was the thing I was gonna say. The breath work is the kind of the easiest thing that you can do. But it has the most effect I find on just my mindset. Like yeah, it's so quick. Very helpful, yeah. And it's so simple, but it's almost so simple that you, like I forget to do it sometimes. And then when I do, I'm like, "Fuck, why am I not doing this?" I know. Just breathing, like in through your nose, out through if, your mouth. Honestly, the thing for that me you... that's one of the one of the fastest things is it just takes one minute in in through the nose for four, hold it for seven, yeah. out for eight. And you do that three times, that's one minute. And it if you were stressed before, at the end of that, you're like, really, eh? holy fuck, I feel 
level. Nice. I'll have to try yeah. that. The one that I was u- using before is, I heard this on a podcast or something like that, so I tried it, but it's like you take a deep breath, like, and then you take one more. This is a Huberman. Yeah, Huberman, yeah. Pack. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then that's like that second oxygen blast or something is supposed to... But the long exhale is also yeah, an important yeah. part of that. I've, but there's plenty. There's lots of different lot techniques, of shit, yeah. and they all affect your nervous system and chemistry in your it's brain. It's all old people stuff, right? Like if you would have told these kids on the bus, they're locking yeah. that poor guy in there with the piss bottles. Like oh you guys God. need to breathe. That it, it would. Although no. you know what I think nowadays, like it's pretty crazy. I think nowadays is a lot different from when I was growing up. Like when I was growing up, health. No one gives a shit about health. Right. Now, mm-hmm. people, you can actually just, there's stats on, on uh, less people are drinking. Oh, definitely. We less people, less grew dr- up on, like, in a time when, like, drinking was so glorified and, like, glamorized. Yeah, man. And then I think the generation after us, like, saw how much. Yeah, the rise in demise. Yeah, up. <laughs> like, for sure. Like, and they're like, yeah. it's not that cool. <laughs> yeah, I wish. Yeah, yeah, my kids, my kids. Like, my daughter moved to Montreal when she was 18. I'm like, yeah, I know what that means. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're going to be hammered. It's okay if you just take a gap year. And she got, like, 90% in school. Oh, yeah. she killed it. And got into UBC and went out, like, one oh, time. Oh, did she go to Montreal, though? For, yeah, she went She to, went there, yeah. She went, she went there. She couldn't get into UBC with the grades she had, so she upgraded her grades. Worked really hard. Nice. I, I like went out there and I was like, let's go out. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Yeah. Where's the cool place to go out? Fuck, Montreal is the best. It's, it's the my best. my favorite city. Well, my favorite city in Canada, I'd have to say, is Quebec City. Quebec City, even. Yeah. The, the architecture there is insane. It's beautiful. The history yeah. behind all, all the old stone buildings, man. It's yeah. dreamy. Yeah. Well, you've been doing stonework. That's what you... Did you do stonework out here or was that something when you moved back? No, my brother's a heritage stonemason. So when I moved... Uh, from Whistler, uh, from Whistler to Ottawa. I was only planning on staying for like three months. And then I just, I don't know, man. I, I, I got this job as a laborer for this like residential stonemasonry company that he hooked me, he hooked me up with. And, uh, and I just kind of felt like I wanted to make my, him proud. And I wanted, I wanted to switch you know, like at that point, I, I was kind of moving to Ottawa. To be honest, I was kind of moving to grow up and to to quit skateboarding, to quit snowboarding, mm. to get mm. a trade, mm-hmm. you know. And I just, I was so over fucking Whistler here. I just wanted something new. And I, I did that. And then I was miserable. We went to school. I was second year apprentice for stone masonry and, and um and then I threw out my back. I joined the union, and then, uh, like, there's no creativity in it. It's just, like, brick after brick on a fucking, uh, on a, on a building, you Square know. Square building or whatever. And then yeah. I blew, I blew out my back twice, and then that was hard to get a job after that because you're just known as the dude with blown out back, pretty much. Then I started hedge trimming. But that's a whole different story. <laughs> different so now he's starting a business. Yep. Yeah. So I started out here. Uh, no, back in back east. Back there. Yeah. Would you start? Quality hedges. Uh, we are a <clears throat> landscape company, and uh, by we, I just mean me. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I got my buddy too. He's like kind of like the behind the scenes dude, and uh, I, I trim hedges. Big, That's big cedar I, hedges. Yeah. I, I thought you were saying that you were trimming weed for <laughs> cash. No, no. Because uh, some people will say there, that, oh, I'm that. trimming hedges. <laughs> yeah. Being there, done that. Yeah, yeah, and, exactly. Uh, it's pretty no, you, impressive. Starting a business. Yeah, legitimate like, business. Yeah, it's legit. We're thing. incorporated. We did our first year last year. We did pretty good. And uh, Good yeah. enough to come out here for the season. That's dope. Well, also my parents live in Braylon, so it's not like I had to fucking pay rent or anything. Got it. Like that, yeah. Know? But that that's def- a, that's that a good setup, though, man. It is, but uh, that'll be coming to an end, unfortunately, because uh, they're just getting too old to live out there. So they're actually trying to trying to sell that place and move out east just to be closer to um, me and my brother Stuart, who yeah. has two kids. So, oh wow! Yeah, they want to be closer to the uh, to the kids. And you've got a little family going now with I do, yeah, a girlfriend got, and a kid. Yep, yeah, a girl and uh, little Alistair. She's turning eight on the 24th of this month. That's a big responsibility, hey? 
Yeah, I mean, it's been awesome. Like, I've, I've known her since I was five and uh, taught how to ride a bike. Since she was five. Ski. Huh? You've yeah. known her since she was five? Did I say he? Since you were five. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> so I've known her for, for a few years, and I've got to... Uh, yeah, I've got to teach her a lot of things and, and watch her grow, and it's really special, our connection. Yeah, I really miss her. Yeah, my yeah. my wife is a stepmom, and I, I'm i in awe of her all the time. I don't think I could do it. It's very fucking tough. Yeah, there's a lot of bullshit with it, too, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, like, it's... It, it's, you know, a, it's, it's harder yeah. than being a, a, a biological parent in a lot of ways. Yeah, there's that whole thing, mm-hmm. right? Like, mm-hmm. the all that so i don't i don't want to get into it no but, I'm, but you I'm know what i mean like it, dude it's, i know it's exactly a lot. What it's you like mean. someone else's kid like and i happen to know the dude and he's he's, yeah. he's a good guy and he's cool and uh yeah yeah you have to you have to walk that fine line right yeah for sure but yeah yeah it's it, this is a, a complex one but yeah uh, yeah i'm he, i'm fucking there all the time for al you know that's I'll pick dope. Him from school and shit he maybe sees her once a week, maybe. Right. You know, and right. that just started recently. But uh, I don't really want to speak on all that stuff because that's... I don't blame you. you. Know, yeah, like I just wanted to say, like, that's fucking honorable and dope, dude. Yeah, it's a, and it's I, a I really enjoy challenge. it, too. Like, I really, really enjoy it. And uh, it's something that I feel like I'm actually really good at. So it's cool. It's really cool. Like, uh, we have a lot of fun times. We're always doing something cool. Yeah, when I talked to you before about your life situation, it sounded like you had a pretty unconventional upbringing, but that that you were tight with your parents, right? You were tight with very your tight, dad. really oh, yeah, close, yeah. very tight. So, like, I, that's one of the things about being a parent. Like, if you've got good role models, and then you want to just like one up that, you're like, yeah, I want to be, I want to be the best I can at this shit. Yeah, for sure. And like my parents did what they could. Sorry, Dara, do you want to jump in here? No. (laughs) I'm just listening. Well, like, uh, your dad, your stepdad, stepdad, right? Adopted me. I do remember you saying that this is like a very, very important part of uh, of my time with Al because she's going to start to yeah. Remember that yeah, stuff. Yeah, for sure. Right? You're a huge impact on her life. Yes. Yeah, that's that's kind of wonderful that you've got a stepdad that adopted you too. That's a yeah. big that's a big step. Yeah, it is. That's crazy. huge. That's why I have two last names. <laughs> oh, okay. So that explains the yeah. Derry McLean. Yeah. Huh. Um. Yeah. He. Uh. I've known him since I was five. So same thing. Yeah. Same age. Whoa. And I remember. That's cool. I remember him coming into my life for sure, and he. Uh, adopted me when I was 13. That's a big move. And yeah, now that I'm an adult, I'm like, holy fuck, like taking on someone else's kid, it's, it's huge. It's crazy. Like you gotta be a, like a really special person to be able to do that. And <laughs> I remember <laughs> we went on a family vacation like in 2019. So I'm, you know, like old at this point I go on a family vacation with my parents and my brother and we're in New York and I got super sick whatever I had the flu or something and I was so sick and threw up like in the bathroom sink of our Airbnb and I was just too sick to deal with it like crawled out of the bathroom just like passed out on the floor and the next morning I woke up and he had Gord had cleaned up my puke Gord. <laughs> wow what a move! What and a boss I, I move! I think That's like all these years, like at that point, I was like, "Whoa, solid my dad guy. loves me." <laughs> so, like, solid guy. <laughs> um, so yeah, but it is like a really important role, and it's a hard role, and uh, yeah, good yeah. for you. I'm so proud of you. Oh, Thanks. That's sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. No, it's it's been a, it's been a trip for sure, and like obviously, there's I'm still learning a lot. Yeah. Fuck, you know, like. There's probably some people out there that are probably like, hey, he's, you know, they that they know a little bit more about me. And they're like, wow, how is that guy supposed to take care of a, you know, a child? Well, Andrew's very good with kids. You know, yeah. Well, I understand. I see that. <laughs> how, why someone would think that, you know. Mm-hmm. But I know, I know a lot of parents that are the best parents, but could be considered you know the best and worst parents you sure, know like sure. 
you know, like how I was brought up. Like my dad was real loose, you know, like uh, I started smoking weed when I was 11 after finding out that he was growing weed illegally in the basement. <laughs> yeah, that's a big deal. Um, Especially back then. Back then, yeah. Because we when, didn't think it was going to be legal, to dude, be honest. That was a fucking, I must have been super, like 11, yeah, around yeah. then, because there was an article in one of the snowboard magazines with a cartoon, a drawing of a weed leaf, because Ross with Bigliotti got oh, yeah. all that shit, right? <laughs> so I read the article, and then I, like, I could see these fucking plants and shit in there you know Holy what i mean shit. and then everything fucking clicked that's amazing everything fucking clicked oh and my I'm god like, that's amazing i'm like oh my god i like get home from school i found the key to the fucking magic garden i, I go in there i match it up i'm like oh no that's unbelievably <laughs> awesome that's amazing oh, no. yeah so like, you're worried you're I'm like worried, worried about your dad i go, you're worried I go about to your... my i go yeah. to my uh my friend's house and i tell him because we've been like trying to get in this door forever I'm like, I found it, and I know what's in there, and this is like, this is, we have to call, like, I don't know what to do. He's like, call. so I call home. I call home, and my brother answers, and he's like, do, I'm like, we need to call the cops. And wow. Ian's, Ian's like, whatever you do, do not fuck with oh, the cops. Oh, could you imagine? Yeah. But I didn't know. Like, that was just no, like. No, of course you know. I thought maybe if we nip it in the bud right now. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like, yeah. So you didn't call the cops, but that would have been traumatizing for for a few months at least. Oh, uh, well, the net, like. Yeah, like, uh, he chilled me right out. Like, yeah. he was driving me in a swimming class. And I was like, and he's like, oh, so, so you found the magic garden, eh? <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, he gave me the lowdown. Like, weed is a plant. You know, it's not a bad thing. You know, how do you think you fucking have a new snowboard every year? <laughs> pretty <laughs> right, much, you right, know? Right, right, right. <laughs> so, I mean, whichever way you look at it, yeah. I mean, was it illegal? Yeah, but was it for a good cause? Yeah. Sure. You know, so. People do what they do, right? Like, that's the thing. I, was I he a good da- The bottom line was, was he, he a good dad? We didn't like, have much money, you right, know what I mean? Right. We, we didn't. Yeah, yeah. So, it's you know, as we know, snowboarding is not a fucking cheap thing to go do. Not even close, right. But he was great. He was, he is great. Yeah. They're awesome, man. That's dope. That's yeah. dope. <laughs> Good old Raja. He's English. My mom's Scottish. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. English and Scottish. So, so still accents in the oh, home, huge, like yeah. still now. Huge. Yeah, yeah. Don't sass your nan. Oh, fuck yeah! <laughs> much? Mom has so much crazy things. Dara, <laughs> these are wee little shoes. She asked me oh about my that. God, I love that. <laughs> She asked me, she's like, I can't remember when... I can't do it. <laughs> yeah, I can't even get started. <laughs> we, I just had Rube Goldberg on, and in the middle of... He was just starting to talk about his dad, because his dad just passed away. Oh, Wonderful know. story about his last few moments with his dad and everything. So enthusiastic and so, like, just in wonder, you know? But as he starts to talk about it, his mom called. He goes, should I take this? He puts the phone here. No way. And she's like... I just had a couple puffs on that joint, and so I have to come upstairs. And he's like, "Okay, mom, that's oh, fine." Oh, because she's living with. Yeah, she's living with so him she out was there. Calling yeah, calling from the same. From upstairs of his place, that's and nice. and it was just so sweet. You have to go listen to it because it's the sweetest. Yeah. You know, just him and his mom. Yeah. They're like roommates now, like that's... you know, son, da- son, mother. Yeah. Hanging out, getting to know each other. Cute. And it's really, it was just a really sweet moment. <laughs> it's funny because, yeah, we we put all this stigma on drugs and then we give zero education to the kids about, like, what that actually even means. Here, take this drug because you're too hyper. But don't do drugs. Yeah. And also, all things are drugs, <laughs> by the way. So, that's... Well, what, yeah. Uh, what do they say, uh... Like too much of it, anything makes you an addict. Does that go with what you, with yeah. you guys talk about? It that makes sense. Yeah. I've never heard that. It's from Is that a, a thing? Too much of anything makes you an addict. A song? It's a tribe Called Quest. Yeah, uh, I think. okay. I think. Uh, you can literally I mean, get <laughs> addicted to I think alcohol is probably like the worst drug there is. And you know what? I, since, <laughs> since I've stopped drinking and uh, doing drugs, I have so much energy. And you know what's 
fucking addicting? Getting clips. Yeah. Getting clips. Clip getting, high getting for sure. Getting clips, yeah. man. Yeah, clips you know? is, a, is a big And one. exercise and like feeling good. Yeah. yeah. Right? For sure. But but there's the clip high, dude. Like, like you, <laughs> nothing beats it. You're like, and it's annoying. And it's, it's a bad feeling. It leaves you with nothing. Yeah. At the end. At yeah. the end of it, you just... Like Jeremy Jones said in his shit, yeah. is like when it's done. So enjoy it while it while it lasts for sure. Or like On if you don't get the clip, like if you fail at what you're trying, you're gonna hate yourself until yeah. you have a successful day. Did Jeremy Jones talk about his technique for getting clips back in the forum eight days on that at all? I listened to the whole thing, but uh, getting technique, having techniques to get clips. He told me after our interview that when he was filming for like big productions if once he got a trick in his mind and he was trying it and he didn't get it he wouldn't eat until he got it Whoa. Well, that's a bit nuts it's yeah but like think about where <laughs> he was hell. too yeah. though right like he was right at the edge of like you gotta eat man yeah he'd be like <laughs> out with, that's a basic he'd be, need <laughs> he'd be out with like the forum eight at, or like people from forum they'd be ordering steaks and celebrating and he'd yeah. be like nope just water for this guy mm. just a fucking yeah wow and they Good go old clip fast yeah clip fast but but you have to sometimes you have to do it right not that yeah i've I don't never need to punish yourself to, to that degree but it is definitely i will that's wild mentally torture myself yeah if I'm, yeah you know the mental torture is yeah. kind of the thing like now that i'm 50 because i'm actually legitimately old you kind of lose you are a little that. bit older yeah i'm fucking old dude. Yeah, I'm just yeah. you're, you're <laughs> about the same age as my parents yeah there you go exactly you're ripping <laughs> now i like it you're ripping uh, out thanks. there that's Sick fun robolies. i'm having fun yeah man. hey that was sweet of you yeah to man say no, you look yeah. good out there i'm having fun i like the drone angle does that thing just follow you around just follows me around Sick. yeah it's a drone you don't even have to do it you're, it just no, follows you it just you put the thing in your pocket it follows the thing how uh, well, I don't know how accurate is it could you bust not out that great not you can do a natural selection with a very close you have to get that back angle you can't do it from the front because right going backwards it doesn't know oh. how to do it as well it's a fun thing if you want to borrow that when you're out in the back country fuck it i'll Maybe. show you how to set it up and that would just, be cool yeah. for sure but I'm, for my clips. my days are done for this season right i might, need, next I might need that i'm not yep. done i have yeah. a lot more days ahead okay of me. <laughs> yeah so i got a quick question if i could ask you Dara. what's it what's uh what's the trick that got away for you Mm. How we were just talking about, you know, like the mental torture. Well, there's so many and it doesn't even have to be like a clip. It could be like a day in the park where I don't get a good whatever. Like I remember trying to explain what, this what's to... the clip though? Like what's the, what's the trick that got away that fucking Yeah, that you were you? close to, that you were like, yeah. I almost got this yeah. shit. I got this next try. And then, and then you got, you got kicked out or something away. and you yeah. couldn't make it back to that city or yeah. so, some shit yeah, like that. Yeah. You good, know? good question. That's a really good question. Uh, what's the last one uh we got kicked out of a spot in halifax that was pretty annoying i wanted something there that i never got to try there's a spot that i bitched out on in japan this year that i'm really i'm talking about like ones that you you tried it you fucking almost put it down there's a back three in Utah a few years ago that I often think about. Like, what if I had landed? Was it that? a step down or something? It was. Um, it was a jump that a lot of people had hit, but I just the back three was really nice. And oh. then, anyways, um, you know that I've been chasing the back rodeo for a long time. But you're gonna get it. You're yeah. gonna get it. Um, get it on this trip. You sure. should just fucking build a tiny, small, little jump and do like just practice them, and then mm. and then go like do it on something. After, yeah, right that's up. a great idea. Do you guys know that Nick's named the rodeo? I've fucking heard that, man. I don't believe it. <laughs> he tells it on this one that I just I know. recorded today. Nick's, I'm calling. I'm just joking. I, I believe it, Nick. He, he uh, named it, but he wasn't the first person to do it. A lot of people were kind of doing it at the same time. I heard so, that Kevin Young was the first person to well, do it. I so just recently learned They were this. buddies, right. right? They were buddies, and that was at the same session. So he yeah. says Kevin landed it first, oh, okay. but the idea came yeah. from him rewinding something and seeing something, a uh, Misty flip backwards. And going, oh, if you did it this way, the the, the McTwist. The, what, what? Sorry, what? So a Misty that? Flip is just a is just a straight. He loop. named it the Misty Flip. No, the Misty Flip was a jump. Uh, is like a, a 
McTwist on a straight know, but jump. What did he say that he... So he was rewinding somebody doing a Misty flip on a video. Yeah. And because when it's backwards, he's like, wait, what if that was the trick? But what what trick is did he name? So fr- it would be what, what, what? a frontside rodeo. Frontside rodeo? So it's like the Backside opposite. Rodeo. Backside rodeo. Backside rodeo is like the 90 roll. He did like a frontside rodeo, like... Like a like front an underflip? Side, an underflip. Yeah, oh, yeah. very close to an sh- underflip. Yeah, I wouldn't be proud of that anyway. That's, <laughs> sh- that's a shitty trick. <laughs> I lo- Sorry, this Nick. Guy, I love it. I, like, I don't know if like, I feel like you've always been like this, but I feel like especially since you're like kind of removed from snowboarding now. <laughs> I like, can definitely be like this Your now. <laughs> opinions are just so honest. Like there's no filter. <laughs> well, I don't have anyone to please. Yeah, it's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> but any, you ask that to anyone, an underflip is a fucking whack trick. I like underflips. I think they're cool. And actually that Terrible. that's I'm I'm really stuck right now thinking about like all the things that I've failed at and all the what tricks that have gotten away it's from me. And I can think of an underflip that I didn't land that I wish I had. <laughs> Just, <don't even laughs> there's bother. so there's actually so many now. So <laughs> he's saying you're lucky you didn't land that underflip no, and become been the sick. underflip girl. <laughs> <laughs> right? Or what about fucking uh Travis Rice's run in Supernatural? Uh, he was obviously going for a cork front seven, and then he just like oh, yeah. oh when fucking, he when he Superman punched <laughs> that's that what was I think insane of with a fucking front side that's pretty much a front side underflip. No, why? But oh. you just didn't grab it. Well, yeah, but you grab an underflip. You don't do underflips. Underflips are kind of <laughs> cool. This is the best. Trust. All right. Says well, no I one. can't do them because maybe maybe like the, <laughs> today's day, the you know, I don't care. I think I'm gonna go ahead and say no. Anything's cool if you make it look cool. It is true. That's you know true. what? All right. And there's some things that aren't that cool, actually. There is. This is true. This is proven. I said this the other day. I'm like, fuck, dude. Like, there is like everything is. You know, these are complete no no tricks that I see all the time. But they're so good. They're making them. They look good somehow. Like fucking like a backflip nose grab or some shit. Oh yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. No, I agree with you totally. It, there is there's someone making the the undoable trick look good right yeah, as but we speak. that's also opening up a whole can of worms man <laughs> you know like those that's just not meant to be open just leave it right. there's some illegal tricks we all there, know yeah. we don't even like have to grabbing under uh, your okay, let's talk let's talk illegal grabbing tricks grabbing under your legs what's, uh, what's your top 3 illegal tricks your big no-nos or what's your what's your okay top three? Just like what's the biggest I just, illegal trick? I just for you? don't want to be a hater. <laughs> oh. Well, it's all it's been said a million times on every podcast that the fifty fifty front one eighty or the half cab on front one eighty or the half cab on three sixty off. Um, it's common knowledge, but also like I probably can't do those tricks. <laughs> to be honest, so. Like I've never tried. But. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? What's the one the number one for you? Number one. God, there's so many. Can I list like 20? Yep. Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. I'll give you the, the breakdown on grabs. All right. Stale fish, you could do with a back one. You could do with a back five. Can you do a straight air stale fish? You could do straight air stale fish. Just making sure. Straight air stale fish. Airs. You have to turn the board though? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. So it's stale fish. <laughs> Back one eight stale fish, that's good. Back five stale, that's good. Back seven, back three, no, no, you can't. It just doesn't look good. Uh-oh. Back nine, and that's it. And that's as far as stale fish go. Japan, you do Japan. You don't really do, you see more and more straight air Japans, which is like, I kind of like it now. So that's something that's changing, but Japan back 180, that's good. Japan back straight five. Straight air Japan is fucking hard and really sick. It is sick. That's what, on skateboards too. It is sick, mm. but it's hard to it's hard to do. Yeah. You know, but Japan is you got the back one, back five. It's the same thing as uh, fucking no tails. No threes. No, oh, back seven. Yeah. Japan, you can do. You can yeah. do that. You yeah. can do that. You can make that look I good. I see that. I, but other than I back do seven, you don't sure. go any higher with the Japan. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It just looks terrible. You heard it here. That's yeah. the, the that is the rule. And uh, tail grabs, you know, you don't really see them too. I'm sure you could do them nice, but like a tail grab five five forty, that's it. that's 
I don't know, like <laughs> it's kind of weird. So that there it's, are, wait, it's good. You could do it or you can't. Telegraph five forty. I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't like tail tail grass. Yeah, you're like, coming out. You're coming out early. Tail seven, like like what no one did in TV yeah. three or whatever it is. That was a pretty sick tail seven. You a couple years ago, or maybe this is quite a few years ago now, but you're front like, tail seven. Front tail sevens are sick. Yeah, yeah. Front three, you know. But if, How about front three nose? Like it looks I like see them. I've seen them, and people are doing them and making them look good. So that's look cool. Good. And front seven nose grabs too. Like Aaron yeah. Amella had some really good ones. Yeah. He was kind of like yeah. the first person I seen to kind of be like, oh shit. And front seven Japan's too. Oh, that's I don't know who can even do that. Jake Blowbelt nice. is a good one, and uh, f- but like front side spins with Japan is kind of weird, man. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know. That's like un. Just I don't know. It's going against the way. And then I don't know. Doing. I guess I'm just ranting about grabs at this point. But, yeah. You know whatever. What's the because for me, and I don't. I'm not a gatekeeper, and I rode for a company called Rad Air. So let's not. If pretend I can like get I, a handful of my snowboard, I'm happy. Yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> what? But tame dogs. I never liked them. <laughs> oh. I, I just always thought they. Well, but I always saw fucking like, called super tame shitty dog, ones. dude. Yeah. Who the fuck yeah. named that shit? It's a know. shitty front Wild flip. cat tame dog. A, a true. Yeah, that's I didn't a, even think it's of an that. Opposite. I, God damn I it. never thought of that either. And they were lame. But the Wildcats were because of the beers. Yeah, because and because yeah. those guys were hanging out, bringing GTs up to yeah, Seymour, yeah. doing backflips because they were drunk. Like I did it not wasn't. Know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tame oh. dogs for me. I remember being like, oh, that looks so y- yucky going yeah, off yeah. of everything. What else? What are the rail tricks that we can't mm. do? <laughs> what? What are the rail tricks that we can't do? Oh yeah, I don't fuck with presses. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think I it's that. yeah. Yeah, I don't I, remember never, seeing any presses in either of those parts. No, because where did that come from? You just chose not to. The, yeah, I just I just think they look fucking stupid. It's like a box uh, trick. It, I could do them. That is the crazy thing. It's a thing. skateboard, like. Yeah, it's like a it's like a manual, but not really. What about pretzels? Pretzels are cool. Those are okay. Pretzels are cool, but like five O is like a good five, like a or whatever tail press or yeah. nose press. That to me, I had a I had a, I had a mental block with them because there's no fucking uh, your wheels to lock you there's in no or trucks truck. to lock yeah. you in. So it's I had this weird, uh, weird vision of always like going in, and like back then the boards didn't press that much, right? right? So right, you really right. had to like to do because it properly. You had to fucking right like go for it and i always had like a vision of like slipping off the the rail and like tacoing or something like that so that's just kind of like me being a bitch really is there a difference between a tail press and a 5-0 like is no, it like no, on the if your foot is on versus your tail being 5-0 on? tail press same shit same shit yeah. huh for sure it's just what they call it. one's copying skateboarding one's just a straight up snowboard term yeah i kind of like the snow straight up snowboard stuff like grabbing fucking method on the nose because I'm old. Yeah, like because that's snowboard are... style. Like skate styles between the bindings. Snowboard styles like. Well, they do crossbones on on skateboards. Tip grab, sure, sure. Crossbones are like methods. You know, they'd grab the nose. Like yeah, yeah. But uh, no, I don't know. And I mean, like I probably sound like just such a such a hater right now. But uh, no, not at all. It's, Someone who take it These seriously. These are the high standards that I was high talking standards. about right, that right, I right. grew up learning. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Understanding. And it's like, I, you know, watch, I'll, I'll watch a video tomorrow and, and someone will do like some fucking super illegal trick and, and make it look good and just shut me up. So, But that's also a challenge too, right? Like, because sometimes, I mean, you keep mentioning the Wildcat, they were dorking. But yeah, sometimes when you're around. dorking, it just catches on and people are like oh i can do a wild cat you could do a backflip before and you wouldn't dare and now you do a wild cat yeah flip in or flip out <laughs> what, 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 what do you say it's flipping mad shit wild cats yeah Was that's that the slogan yep one of them they were a group that like so during that time like you guys could have formed a crew and then had gear and then mm-hmm. sold it like Stony Creek or well, Stony like, Mountain gear. Yeah, yeah. Or remember Cashless? <laughs> Cash the same. Like, yeah, that was like, the same thing. Yeah. Same shit. Yeah. It was like all like it was like the shittiest Wildcats started their own shit. 
like Pete Anderson and Dave Cashin. <laughs> They're like, oh, we're not, we're not, we're not cool enough with like Devin and. No, that's too mean. Up. I'm cutting all this out. I like Cashin, but I, you're I love I'm, Cashin. I'm not. I'm not. I filmed for the fucking video. Of course, of he, course. I stayed at his house. He flew me out. I was, I was on in Cashless dirty version. That's so sick. You were a little and kid. And I think Dave will be the first to tell you that he was definitely not the best. Uh, like I said, disclaimer, your thoughts are... <laughs> it's a joke, man. The guy's fucking was like... Separate from mine. <laughs> I, think I, I think I've heard... I've, I'm pretty sure I've heard Cashin tell me that Devin owes his career to Cashin. <laughs> That's a heavy statement. That's a big claim. It's a big claim. Well... <laughs> Where, where's Dave's video parts? <laughs> he's a big, he's a, he is a big personality in it. And he's, he's a fun dude. Well, I, I know. I was fucking and Dave's biggest nice. fan, by yeah. the way. Let me, let like, me just say I, this. I have his autograph. Like, yeah. ask Dave about yeah. me, man. Yeah. You know, this is all in good fun. Yes, like, of course. And I also, I wanted to say when you're talking about being a stepdad or, a, you know, helping parent a kid of your girlfriend, however you go about yeah. calling that. Um, that you were kind of taking the piss out of yourself saying some people would be like, hey, me might not be a good fit for that. But at all, I've, I've interviewed about 200 pro snowboarders for this thing. Yeah. And like some gnarly ones like Kearns and Johnson and yep. not Dave yet, but to a person, those guys are the nicest. Biggest yeah. hearts. Oh, dude, I to love person, Dave. They're the sweetest. Yeah, man. And so... Nothing I, but love for Dave, yeah. straight up. Like... I'm not saying he was a, he's a bad rat. I'm just no, saying if no. you look at the, you know, just look at the. I know what you're saying. You know, watch know the fucking videos. Saying. Like, <laughs> half of it's falling. <laughs> you know? Yeah. He's definitely good, though, like, yeah. for sure. But. Uh, Pants coming down. Fuck, I know his, you know days. what? I know his rap. Two, you know the whole thing? The whole fucking thing. Two, six, two, six, that whole thing. Yeah. All right, do it. You got it. Two six nine and AKA hey, we live in day to day. Give me a call next time I come around. I am playing for fun, y'all peeps. Your best respect me. Uh, doing what I do, and I'll judge you. So if you want to judge me, then fuck you. Coming from the east side, outside the west, we never came to claim to be the best. <laughs> Something like that. But yeah, that's his, that's uh, sick. That's sick. So yeah, I'm but huge, huge cash and yeah. fan. Yeah, you know, like I. Yeah, hey, you don't have to backpedal. I know what you were saying. Oh, I know I don't have to. I was, I was can... putting you on the spot there a little bit. That I no, no, it's it all good. I love Dave. <laughs> and yeah, I worked with him and I watched him get a lot of families into snowboards. Very, very good with kids. Like, here's the guy that you would not, you from the video parts, you wouldn't pick him to watch your kid. No, it's funny. My mom, when I was, you know, Lil Bastards is a huge part of my life. Yeah. Um, so that came out in 99. I'm mean, born in 89. So I was 10 when I got that. Yeah. And then I would watch that shit on fucking repeat. And you know what? The best part was the partying after the, after, after the credits. The credits. So my mom would, you know, my dad would come out, uh, with me and with Dave cash and Pete Anderson, all those people <laughs> like my dad was, you know, in there too. Sure. But uh, my mom, when I was like 11, 10 or 11, 10, I guess, when it came out, oh, I sure hope you're not going to be like that guy. Who, who that guy was was a Dave Cash on the screen, you know? So, That's you know, great. as a joke, because, I mean, it's just, you know, any fucking parent letting their 10-year-old watch that shit, you know, it's, yeah. they're going to see some shit. Some serious shit. We couldn't put that on in the store. You no, know, my mom was definitely not stoked on that that aspect of of uh, the snowboard scene that I was really into. Yeah. No. Know? Do any videos have that kind of shit in them Fuck now? No. Hell no. It's no, way too right? soft, man. Well, I think people it, figured out that it's not that cool to party that hard. Well, yeah, and also they would be fucking thrown in jail probably like twenty times over, canceled or something, right? <laughs> definitely. Yeah. All that stuff? Oh, for sure. Yeah, I saw some canceled stuff. <laughs> yeah, just canceled yeah for sure. Like, constantly. But you got, yeah, not anymore. People do not think that that shit's cool anymore. And I... Bring it back, baby. No, I think, I think that's better off just yeah. left alone. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, if it was... Yeah. It was a different time. There was, like... Let's save some... Of, let's yeah. fucking... Let's save some, uh, some future uh, careers here, Yeah. <laughs> 
life. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. It's not that cool. <laughs> it's not that cool. You want to fucking blow it before you even got it? Follow well, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> so what about, okay, so you're on the Dinos team, legendary team. Mm-hmm. When you guys travel, it's a fucking party. But not that bad, right? You're not breaking hotel rooms. You're just hanging out. It looks like a big, I hate to say it, family, because TJ Snyder was like, Capita was all family, family, family. And then at the end, it was like, fucking see you later. Yeah, that's always family. how it is. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. I feel yeah. like, yeah, family kind of gets overused around, for but sure. Bullshit. But yeah, there's definitely some partying, but yeah. Um, it's pretty, everyone's pretty tame on the team now. Honestly, whenever I go on snowboard trips, I feel like the younger kids are like not really drinking that no, much. No, they're so hyped to snowboard yeah. and it's sick. It's like like I was saying earlier, I think that th- those days are over. Yeah. It's just not. People are figuring out that it destroys your life and it's, yeah, it's way just not sweeter worth to it. like feel good and be active. <laughs> right. If you're When we came into snowboarding, the drinking and partying was just like that was the crowd that was going snowboarding was like people that were like fuck you fuck you and then it was yeah. just it was kind of like you guys on that bus right <laughs> party like, bus the, we had a party bus the too party bus <laughs> <laughs> so I you're not I don't think if you join snowboarding right now there's not a lot of I think it's a great time to join snowboarding. Thing. I yeah. think anything goes. I think everyone is super come on in attitude. There's yep. uh, there's not really any hostility or, or beefs anymore, like crew beefs. Everyone's yeah, right. fucking... Because you can't really be like that. You got to be all chippy Mr. Nice Guy, you know? You just have to be. It's, you know... Is there a, I, I is think, there anyways, do you, what do you think? You know, you know the new generation. Is there, uh, like, one guy who's just, like... Fuck everybody and saying all the wrong shit, and but still killing yeah, it with geez. good stuff. <laughs> no, uh, no, saying I all think... the wrong shit. Like what? What wrong shit have I said? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just... I don't have no one to please, man. No sponsors. Fuck. No, I think everyone gets along pretty well these days. Yeah. Everyone plays pretty. Beefs nice. are like people calling out people saying you shouldn't have said that shit and. Like, or like just smarten up, or that more of that kind of stuff, as as opposed to yeah, like the shit that was going on. Our time was insane. Yeah, like straight up bullying. Bullying. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Like from so I think everybody. I yeah. think it's all the time a perfect time to come into snowboarding. I think it's it's much more welcoming. Yeah. For everyone. For sure. <laughs> Let's go get them, sport. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, you guys. Thank you so. Thank much. Thank you very that. much. We did it. F and Rad shoutouts this week to Dara and Andrew. Special thanks to Lane Treater for driving up to Pemberton to pick up Jeeves. Our Patreon listeners are the lifeblood of the show, and I want to thank each and every one of them. Tag New Greens for a sample of the best organic green drink on the planet, and it's time for another 1910 hoodie giveaway, so tag 1910 in any F and Rad post for a chance to win. Be sure to come back next week for another episode of F and Rad Snowboarding presented by Skyview Campers and brought to you by F and Rad Productions. Is there anything Podcast you want to go over? Because uh... I don't know. I just feel sad that we didn't tell some of our classic uh, growing up stories. We got grinded by a semi once. Grinded by a semi. Yeah, Dara was driving a ski hill, ski hill, and pulled out uh, onto the freeway and didn't fucking check our mirrors, and uh, a semi truck just (laughs) grinded the side of a a mirror. (laughs) Oh my god! Yeah, it was actually really sketchy. Um, Everybody was okay, but yeah, it was just pulled over. Just us, and like, should we go back and get the mirror? I was like, do I go get my mirror? (laughs) And just like, no. No, you don't go get, go get your mirrors in fucking pieces. We all just died. I was like, okay. Oh, shit.